To fit test an N95 respirator, first you want to go to settings and fit test settings. Make sure the fit factor is set to 100 or more, so you leave it at 100. You can turn on the code number input or turn it off. What it does is the unit can record up to 200 fit tests and if you have it turned on then it'll ask for an employee code to basically match the results to the employee. Go back to the fit test so I can hit this and I can enter in an employee number. I would have the person put on the N95 mask and I also want to attach the so I've already probed this mask so you can see the connector, connector that's covered in a separate video. I put the clear tube into that port and I get them to put the respirator on. I can use, there's a mirror on the back of the unit that I can use that so they can see themselves putting the respirator on and make sure that it's it's on correctly. So once they've got the respirator on and they're ready to start, I'll just zoom in here a bit. So it says waiting, preparing for a test, press the start button. So normal breathing and you kind of coach the uh, person being tested through each one of the steps. So the next one will be, so we, step one is normal breathing, next step will be deep breathing. See so if they're walking upstairs or laboring a bit. After each test you'll see the results on this side of the fit factor that was calculated. And we've got the time remaining for the full test. So we're in deep breathing now. There's seven steps total. The next one will be head side to side. So you don't want to have them uh, move too quickly with that. They may want to hold the tube as well uh, so that it's, they don't, uh, they don't pull it, uh, have extra weight on the mask. And just turn to the side, take a breath, turn to the other side and take a breath. Keep doing that until uh, we move on to the next step. You can see the next one will be head up and down, same thing, full range of motion, down and up, but not too fast. And they could hold the tube as well, again, so that uh, the weight of the tube isn't pulling down on the respirator. At any time, if the uh, outside particle count drops too low, we may have to uh, make sure the humidifier is on. I have the uh, ultrasonic particle generator turned on in here, but if the air conditioning or a door was open or something like that happened and, and it stopped the test, you just make sure you have enough particles and keep that uh, keep that particle generator going. And um, so talking. Um, there is the official rainbow passage that can be downloaded uh, online and that's the best method to use for the talk out loud. Um, some locations use counting or telling about their day or uh, the ABCs. You basically just want to have them moving and talking in the mask. So bending over, uh, you want to have the person bend over as if they're picking up a tool or something off the floor. It's also recommended if the person being tested, if they're normally wearing safety glasses or other safety equipment that may interfere with the respirator, that they're wearing that at the time of the test as well. And back to normal breathing. At any time, if the um, the mask is leaking too much, the unit will show that in the step and it will not give an overall pass. So we'll see. I, everything looks good here, so I think we we have a good test. This unit can hold up to 200 fit tests that can be downloaded to a computer. 
or just manually some clients use these style cards where they just write on the person's name and the respirator that they're approved to use. So the test is passed. If I want to step through each result I can do that or if I want to see an overview I can do this and it gives me an overview of the test results.